YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Booba, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you guys are having an incredible day. Episode number two is finally upon us, and in today's video, we're going to be adding our very first evolutions to the team. Now, before we jump on over to the evolutions, boys, I just want to go ahead and thank each and every one of you guys for the love and support that you guys showed on episode number one. So many likes, comments, suggestions, man. I appreciate it so much, and we are going to make this series incredible. If you guys do enjoy these kinds of videos and you want to see more of them on the channel, definitely let me know by leaving a like. Turn on your notification bell so you never miss an episode and then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated but without further ado man let's go ahead and jump straight into it now the plan in today's video boys is to go ahead and throw in our very first evolutions in the team as you guys know in episode number one we ended up packing bremer so the coin total at the moment is looking really nice we're sitting at 65,000 coins and after going through all the comments and suggestions we are going to add five new players to our team and for you guys that are new to the channel or new to the series the most like comment is the player that we're going to go ahead and use in that specific evolution. Now, the very first evolution that we're going to go ahead and add to the team comes from our boy Emil. And Emil basically said that we do have to Evo one of the players that we did get from our starter pack. So we have Eddie and Ketia, we have Kwanzaa, and then we do also have Garner. And we are going to go ahead and evolve Eddie and Ketia. Now, with Enketia, we're going to go ahead and add him first into the Power Surge evolution. And then we're also going to use him in Intro to Stat Limits. And as you guys can see, with the evolution, he does become an 82 rated card, 80 85 pace 77 shooting and then also 82 dribbling not bad for the start of fc 25 and there's ultimately going to be a lot of potential going forward with us being able to chain him in future evolutions now for our next evolution we're going to turn our focus to the box to box evo and for the box to box evo man this one is huge there's so much potential going forward and for the box to box evolution the recommendation does come from our boy x pro and then also willy goose and they did suggest us to go ahead and use kessie now with kessie man it might be a little bit more difficult to get him on full chemistry but honestly boys with the upgrades he does look like a phenomenal box-to-box -box midfielder he's only going on the market for 650 coins so a very cheap option which is great to see it's going to help us uh, complete some of the future evos as well so yeah boys alongside eddie and ketia we're going to go ahead and evolve kessie using the box-to-box -box evolution and this player is just going to be so important for us especially this early on now for our next evolution boys we're going to turn our focus to the new dazzling dribbler evolution now this one is 10,000 coins to go ahead and complete so it is going to take a pretty significant chunk out of our coin total because we do also have to complete the octopus evolution but with dazzling dribbler the suggestion does come from our boy dave and dave did say to go ahead and pick up dominic Solenki. now for me personally boys very similar to eddie and ketia Solenki is a very underrated option i don't think that he's too expensive on the market maybe like 700 800 coins which is great to see and because we are also evolving eddie and ketia that is going to be our strike partnership i do plan on running the 442 formation so we do have Solenki and then also and ketia up top it's going to give us a nice amount of chemistry and then it's also going to give us a very balanced attack man we have a stronger more physical type of striker and then we have like a smaller more intricate type of one now boys we do have two more players to go ahead and add to the evolutions and the next player that we do have on the list is actually very interesting i think he's a very unique player but in the previous fc game he was a very popular player as well the suggestion does come from our boy woke and he said to go ahead and pick up none other than isak toure now with the sprint supreme evolution the player does end up getting a plus 10 to both his acceleration and sprint speed Toure does currently have 66 pace so with the evolution man he will get 75 pace overall not the greatest of defending but he does have really good physicality and as you guys probably already know man he is six foot nine so the corner and aerial meta is just going to be so effective if we are struggling to break down our opponent or if we're struggling to get ourselves a goal, Isak Toure is most definitely going to help us. And then last but not least, boys, our final evolution in today's video. Now, this suggestion does come from our boy Jack. And Jack did give us two options, man. He did say Lissandro Martinez in the Sprint Supreme Evolution, but he did also say Kobe Menu for the Octopus Evo. Now, the Octopus Evolution is 50,000 coins, so it is going to take the majority of our coins, but Menu is a fantastic player for this Evo. We could have also chained them with the Box to Box Evolution, but because because we are already evolving Kessie, we're just going to use him in the octopus. And because he doesn't have any crazy stats, I think that the potential going forward is most definitely going to be there with the card. Maybe we can add him in like future evos. And as of recording the video, man, only going on the market for 700 coins, man. I really like the fact that you guys chose like 
cheap players, maybe a little bit more like underrated options. I love that. So as you guys can see, just a little quick recap before we jump on over to Division Rivals. We do have five new evolution cards. Now, because it is going to take a little bit longer to complete all the evolutions, I'm probably going to do that off camera by just playing squad battles. But right now, boys, we're going to go ahead and add everyone to the team and we're going to jump into some Division Rivals gameplay. All right, boys, so this is what the team is currently looking like. We went ahead and added all the evolutions and then with the remaining 2,000 coins, we did buy a goalkeeper and then we did also buy this right back. The right back we bought just to add a little bit more chemistry to Kessie and then the goalkeeper because we do have a lot of Premier League players. So with the other evolutions that we do currently have available, I think we have La Roja, Backline Booster, the Cannon. We want to get ourselves a left back, a left mid, and then also another right mid. So again, boys, in the comment section down below, the most liked comment is the player that we're going to go ahead and add to the team. First, we do need to acquire a little bit of coins, but as we play more division rivals and then also squad battles, we are going to get the coins. But yeah, man, we are going to be running the 4-4-2 formation. The very first player that we're going to go ahead and evolve is Nketiah. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. Game number one, ladies and gentlemen, of division rivals in division nine. We are coming up against Kovacic, Saka's at left back for some reason, Savinho, Mateus, Nunes, Gravenberch. Now to get into division eight, we do have to win three games in a row. So hopefully we can do that. We also do need a lot of points for foot champs qualifiers. Now, because we do have a goalkeeper now, a gold goalkeeper, I do feel a lot more comfortable in division rivals. Going forward, it still might be a bit more difficult because we don't have the craziest of upgrades. And Ketia, LB pace boost. Eddie, near post. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Your defense is in trouble. And Ketia's in the room. Things you love to see, man. That's a great finish. I honestly think that Enketia could maybe just be a club legend for us, man. If we can get maybe like one or two more Evos, that's going to be incredible. He's going to try to go through the middle with the eyes, boys. Where's Isak Toure, man? Look at him. Six foot nine. I want to win a corner. Just to see if we can score a header with him. A few minutes later. Toure, six foot nine. Win the header. Hey man, shout out to my boy for recommending Isak Toure, man. He's just going to be so good from an attacking perspective. That's good, boys. Nice interception right there. Solanke. Oh, the step over is nice. Keep it going. Little R3 touch into a power shot. Solanke. That's good, boys. Solanke is going to be so underrated, in my opinion. All right, boys. Game number one is done. We do end up getting the W6-0 win in our first game with the new Evolution cards. Let's go ahead and jump straight into game number two. All right, boys. Let's go ahead and see who we're coming up against in game number two. He does have a very good team, man. Holland, James, Elise, Sasha, Bowie, Alex Garcia in there as well. Something tells me, man, that this game is going to be a little bit more difficult, but we can do it, man. We can do it. Solanke, I don't even know if he has skill moves. I don't think he does. Solanke rolls him. Has to be a goal. Has to be a goal, boys. It took until the 56th minute, but we finally get it. Dominic Solanke. Let's go, man. That's a beautiful finish. I'm going to have to get one of those Naruto masks. Solanke up against Kim and Jai. I'm going to take a touch. Oh, Solanke, man. Solanke's Loki kind of saved us this game. It's a decent attempt. We'll take that over top. Ooh, might be a little bit too close to Neuer. Good touch right there. Finish. Let's go, boys. Dominic Solanke, what a finish, man. Dazzling Dribbler Evolution is going to be so good for him. Now, after game number two, boys, we do complete our very first portion of the Power Surge Evolution for Enketia. We are going to go ahead and upgrade him. 78 rated card now. And for the second requirement, what do we have to do? We have to win one game and then play two games. So two more games in today's video, and we're going to get very close to completing the Evo. Game number three, ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, and we are coming up against a five back, which is an ideal lookman to Ram Soba's like He has Yap Stam in there as well. I kid you not, boys. This might be the first L. This might be the first L. Oh, boys. Let's break that. Let's break that back line really quickly. Solanke, Trivella near post, takes a deflection. Dominic Solanke, another great finish. And that's huge, man, because, I mean, if he would have scored first, he probably would have just parked the bus. Try to drill that through Kwanzaa, man. Kwanzaa is low-key. Been so good. Again, I'm going to go for that over-the-top through ball. And Ketia into Mainu is great, man. His attacking position is going to be huge. I'm going to go finesse shot. He does have the finesse shot play style. Kobe Mainu, we like that. A little bit of build-up right here. I'm going to signal uh, our right mid to make that run. That's a great ball, man. LB pace boost from Kelly as well. That's not too bad. Solanke, ball roll. Trivella, good shape to it. Hey, man, round of applause for Dominic Solanke. That's such a good finish. And there you have it, boys. A nice little 3-0 rage quit right there. And we do also get into Division 8, which is honestly huge because we do need those champs qualifier points. Now, boys, a quick little recap for the end of Episode 2. Now, we are very close to completing Eddie and Ketia using the Power Surge Evolution. Off camera, I'm going to try to complete as many Evos as possible by playing squad battles. By playing squad battles, you know, getting the patch rewards, we are going to get a pretty nice coin total as well. We're currently sat at 2,000 coins. So in 
in the comment section down below. I need your guys' help to go ahead and choose the next evolution. Now, between recording and editing the video, we did also go ahead and get the new Magic Knights evolution. Now, this one is 50,000 coins, so it is out of our budget. But definitely keep in mind, boys, a really good player to go ahead and use in this Evo. We also do have the cannon glow up La Roja as well. Backline booster, slow it down, and then also forward fortification. So we do have some pretty decent Evos to still go ahead and complete. If I had to choose like a specific budget for the amount of squad battles games that we're going to go ahead and play, I would probably say 10,000 coins. So in the comment section down below, boys, give me a recommendation for a new player to go ahead and use in one of these evolutions for 10,000 coins. The most like comment is the player that we're going to go ahead and use in the Evo and add to the team. But that is going to be the end of episode number two. If you guys did enjoy today's video, definitely let me know by leaving a like. And then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I've been your boy Booba, and I'll catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace.